Hello everybody, this is Oliver Glanz, Professor of Old Testament at Andrews University. In this little tutorial, I would like to show you how to um, open a shared notebook in OneNote. So your professor has um, sent or has indicated that he would like to share his class notes with you and you want to figure out how you can open it in your OneNote program. So let's go here to our machine. You first want to install OneNote. If you have installed OneNote already, you're good, but we have not, so OneNote.com. Then we download. A little file is download that you just run. That will take a while. Stuff is going to be downloaded and then installed. So in the meanwhile, we are going to log into our email account um, where we should have in our inbox a message of our professor who has uh, sent a note that he wants to share his notebook with you. So let's log in to our email account. <coughs> We're done. We're in here. Now you see here is our email that we received. We open the email. There it says, hello, check out what Oliver Glunch shared with you. Open the course notebook OTST 555 profits. Um, then you have to log in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, you can just create one for free. Uh, if you don't know what your Microsoft account is, it's basically your Skype account or your OneDrive account or your Microsoft Office account, whatever services you, you use, um, that is your Microsoft account. Then let's log in to our Microsoft account. Now we're logged in. And so basically what we see now in the browser is the notebook that our uh, professor has shared mm, with us. So we see here the course syllabus or I mean depending on what the professor has shared with you things will look a bit different. Um, now what we want is that we actually get um, this notebook opened in our OneNote program. Um, it allows us for much more flexibility. We can also start creating our own notes and make our own annotations on the class, on the whiteboards that the professor produced. So we just are going to wait till, until this is done. While it's installing things in the background, um, you see that when I open in Chrome, and I guess it's similar in Firefox and other browsers, when I open the OneNote notebook in the web browser, I have this little sign, open in OneNote. And this is crucial. This is the button that we have to click once OneNote is installed, because once you click on this button, um, this notebook that you see right here will be opened in your standalone OneNote program. So we all right, here we go. You're all set. Office is installed now. Close. So now I have this little icon here and it should show also up here in my programs. Here it is that OneNote is installed. So let's open OneNote for the first time. Yes, we want to sign in. So make sure that you have your credentials at hand. Your Microsoft account credentials. So sign in, and here we go. OneNote is running. So what we now want is that here, the notebook of our professor shows up. So we want to click on open other notebooks and then see that notebook that uh, the professor has shared with us, but we won't see this at this moment. Um, let's make sure that we actually signed in. Yes, sign in. Yeah, we signed in. Okay, good. Um, so we go back to the web page that has our OneNote notebook opened and here we click now on open in OneNote. Just say yes, we want to open it. We accept. 
that we are opening it and we should have our notebook up and running in a couple of seconds. Here you go. So now you can start making your own notations, uh, your own observations. Um, you can uh, also start uh, copying um, the OneNote of the OneNote notebook of your professor into your own OneNote notebook. So let me illustrate this just for a second. Um, let's open a new notebook. Um, <clears throat> let's make a new one. Let's call it test. Great notebook. No, we don't want to invite people at this moment. Then what you can do is you can open two notebooks at the same time. So I have now two OneNote windows open. Okay. So then in this one we have our class notes and this one our test notebook. So now what you can do is for example here the protocol of this week you can just move it over, over copy paste it and now you have it on your own notebook. You can also move a whole section like this section you can just move it over now it's your own notebook and you can start working with this as you please. Um, for example, uh, hello, you can start writing, you can start drawing uh, for, for yourself. Um, you can uh, put images in here, uh, for example, say this, just making a screenshot. Um, and then paste it in here. Now you have a screenshot of this. So there are a lot of possibilities um, once you copy paste it into your own notebook. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Follow those instructions and you should be uh, good and going. All the best. Bye.